And because she promised him that, he's hanging on. He's like, okay, that's gonna save us. It's going to save us, it's going to save us, it's going to save us. And I always say this about Sun and Pisces. I think that they could really use good advice. You know what I'm saying? I think they're the type of people that they don't take Welcome, welcome back to No Light Time. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. So I'm doing couples update of three different couples. I'm really excited to be doing them. Um, please like the video. There will be timestamps throughout the video. So if you see a couple you like, you say, I say something I agree with, please give it a like. It will definitely help the video, help the channel. Also, if you're a subscriber, um, please put in the comment section, subscribed or subscriber, and I'm going to raffle out every month a chance to win reading. So you have to have social media, um, and I will send you an email reading. So every month I'm doing that for subscribers. So write in the comment section, subscriber, and I'll reply back to you once I've done the monthly raffle. Okay, so let's get into this. First, I'm doing Beyonce and Jay-Z. So when I was shuffling the cards and pulling the cards um i got this it kind of reminded me <clears throat> similar to similar energy of jada pinkett smith and will smith and i'm going to explain why both of the women are sun and virgos and like i always say every sign has its light and its shadow side shadow side are things we need to work on and something that I've noticed about Sun and Virgos is this need of perfection. And I have a lot of Virgos in my life, so I'm not saying anything towards anyone personally. I'm speaking in general terms from what I've seen growing up and so forth and so forth. And what I've noticed about love Sun and Virgos, they'll stay with a partner if it makes them look like they have it all. You know, even though they're suffering miserably in silence, as long as it is financially helps them gain and it seems like everything's okay, they will stay. But, because Beyonce is son of Virgo, but Jay Z is son of Sagittarius. And I have always said this I strongly believe he's going to leave her. I just have this, and I think it's coming soon. Now, me saying that. I don't wish it upon them, you know, because they have kids and I really hope just that the kids are Blue Ivy so cute, she's so sweet. Same thing with the other two children. I wish them the best and his children, his alleged children. Um, I just wish them the best and lots of wellness, healing, love. But I see very strongly and I see him leaving her for another woman. So, with the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Wands, and King of Coins, I see somebody, a woman coming into the picture that he believes is his soulmate with the Wheel of Fortune. They're destined to be. She might be a son in Gemini because this person, in your Wheel of Fortune, the traditional one, has the different fixed signs. And I always say this, um, not always actually, I say this sometimes, that opposite signs can give sometimes soulmate energy but can often be one, one another's twin flames. I believe there's a difference between twin flame and soulmate. Not everybody does, but I believe that. And I strongly think she has strong sun in Gemini, this person. And he's, she's going to ignite something in him that has been dormant for a long time. So with nine of coins, I think he's made him and Beyonce have made so much money together that at this point, there's not really much else they can do, you know? Bottom of the deck is Nine of Swords. And I see there being a lot of severance between them, severed ties, arguing, fighting, um, just not getting along at all. 
at um, I see her going, not speaking to him for a few days. Ah, you see? Wow. wow. This is insane. Whoa, okay. So, two of cups, lots of cup energy. So, I think this woman is already in the picture. This new woman is already in the picture. Two of cups, five of cups, queen of cups. And he, this woman has his heart. And I think Beyonce already knows that this woman, it's very unfortunate um, that this has to be like a reoccurring, I think, you know, she said in Lemonade that I married somebody, basically, I married somebody like my father, you know, um, somebody who disappears at night, stuff like that. And I think it's because her and her mother are similar in that way, that they're both pretty. And I think sometimes pretty women marry the wrong guy. They marry the guy, especially Capricorn or Virgo. Her mother's a Capricorn, she's a Virgo. That they want more, um, they have so many suitors that they choose the one that, pro that promises them a lot, you know? And promises them this, promises them that. And kind of helps them live out a fantasy of being, you know, the princess, the queen, like they feel like they are, you know? And they don't understand that these men will tell you anything you want to hear in order for you to stay. So with King of Cups, Seven of Cups, he believes, I'm telling you, the woman he leaves her for, he believes is his soulmate. And I wouldn't be surprised in the next year if we start to hear murmurs of it and then they separate. Or even I wouldn't be surprised if they're already separated but we'll hear of a divorce. So that's what I have for you. Please comment, I love to say. I used the Crystal Magic Tarot for that reading. Now I'm going to move on to Haley and Justin who are also hanging on by <laughs> string. And it must be really hard being in a um, celebrity relationship as somebody who's dated two celebrities. I, I get it. I can only, and that wasn't even publicized. So I can understand what, <laughs> when it is publicized, you know? So let's see. Okay. Wow. So I just got the energy of Um, <laughs> lots of arguing between Justin and Haley. Lots of arguing. Uh, the wheel, ten of ten of wands, four of swords. This relationship is over at this point. I don't even think that they are in the same. Like I think they live in the same house, but they sleep in different rooms. Um, it's and I said this. I was accurate about. Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith said that they don't live together anymore. I can just tell they don't even. I can just tell, you know? Energy, energetically, I can just tell. Bottom of the deck, the Empress. But I think Haley has promised him a child. And because she promised him that, he's hanging on. He's like, okay, that's going to save us. It's going to save us. It's going to save us. It's going to save us. And I always say this about Sun and Pisces. I think that they could really use good advice. You know what I'm saying? I think they're the type of people that they don't take advice from people in general. I'm like, a lot of Pisces I know, just Pisces in general uh, that I see in the public, they don't take advice from people. And when they do, because they're so stubborn, they often take the wrong advice. And Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, and Knight of Pentacles. He's very fixated on creating a family. He'll bypass the toxicity in order to make it happen because Five of Cups and the Ones, Six of Ones, he wants to prove to the world. This is so sad. He wants to prove to the world that he's worthy of having a family. It's very sad. And I wish him all the best. If you're a Justin fan, please just send him love and well wishes because I do think this relationship is coming to an end. But the end of a relationship is 
especially a toxic one, is usually the hardest. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to use a sad child tire for this, and I'm going to move on to Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I don't even say, I don't think that they are in a relationship, but that he is courting her. She's going along with it. Um, let's see. I was accurate and I said the ex is going to come out. His ex is going to come out and say different things about him, say that, that he was a player. Um, I picked up things about children. I can't go farther than that because it goes against somebody wrote in the comment section that he doesn't have children. What does that mean? Me picking them up. And it goes against um, one of my reading policies. So unfortunately, I can't clarify that um, because I don't believe in revealing things of that nature. Um, and I see the X is very hurt. I might want to do, I think I might do a breakdown of what happened between them. I think I'm going to do that next week. Yeah, I'm going to do that next week. But the ex is, she's in a lot of pain. And the only time I've been, well, twice I've been in pain like that from a breakup. Um, it's because the guy did a number, <laughs> a number on me. Um, but she's in a lot of pain. I feel for her. And I said her love. So... Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I see, um, I don't like his energy. I'm sorry, I just don't. And I don't say that often, but I really, there's something about him that gives me like, but a lot of Sun and Libras, not a lot, okay. Just some that I've known can be very, and he's a Sun and Libra, can be, and I think he has the same person yes, as my ex. My, <laughs> one of my exes that did this to me, but, He's got a very like um, charm you and will do do you over if you know what I'm saying. Like if that makes any sense. So Ace of Crystals, the Sun, and Ace of Swords. I see very strongly here. Nothing of substance come from. There's lots of giggles like ha 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 the Sun, you know, flirtatious energy, but he has no substance. And Sag Sun and Sagittarius they need substance and she needs taylor needs substance she needs more the high priestess so people have told her already that this is not gonna go anywhere um i think she sees like astrologists and psychics and stuff and they tell her they told her no this is just not gonna work out bottom of the deck knight of cups this guy just around for the free ride i have a strong feeling she's entertaining this because she wants to do the super bowl not ushers year the following year i just have this very strong feeling that she's prepping herself for the super bowl of the following year which i think should be great at. i wanted to start a petition <laughs> to get her to do it but it seems like she's already onto it she's trying to like plant seeds you know i don't think anything of substance is going to come from this i just think it's flirtation five crystals six of swords excuse me six of cups but it's, yeah, so she's going to play around and then disappear on him. And he's going to have a story later. He's going to be like, she disappeared on me. He's going to make himself a victim. Eight of Wands and Four of Crystals is going to be like, oh, she disappeared on me. But and I had to work on myself because I was very disappointed in her. Um, yeah, that's what he's, that's what he's going to say. <laughs> but she's not even going to care. I always say this, the next relationship proper relationship she ends up with is going to be a healthy one it's going to be one that um supports her helps her grow and is somebody that i see a strong future with that's what i'm just going to say so i love you all thank you so much for watching i'm so incredibly grateful for this community um sometimes when i am too tired to record or i just remember the love and I remember the support and you guys are really what keeps me going. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Take care.